For this exercise, press up to a plank on your hands. So place your hands below your shoulders and extend your legs straight. Squeeze your glutes, engage your core, press your shoulders down away from your ears, gaze diagonally down at the ground. I like to have my feet just a smidge wider than my hips for this particular variation of the exercise. We're going into an advanced plank variation with an arm and leg raise at the same time. So we're gonna do opposite sides. So if you lift your right arm, you'll lift your left leg up and then switch other side. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. If you had a stack of plates positioned on your back, they should not fall, meaning your hips should not be swaying side to side, your back should not arch or round. You're really trying to maintain that perfect plank as you move your arms and your legs. If moving both at once is too much for you, then do one or the other. Leg, right? And then you can transition to arms. That's fine too. You can also always do this on your knees. Just try to maintain that plank, right? You can see that my hips kind of want to soar back, so really maintain that plank position. And if you need to, you can always drop to your bird dog. Now, last thing to note, if your wrists get tired, take hold of dumbbells, or if it's uncomfortable at all to be on your hands, take hold of dumbbells so that you can maintain a neutral position through your wrists as you go into this exercise. Woo!